My friends, the time has come for another Yes Style unboxing try on, but it's a haul with a little bit of a different goal in mind. Today, I want to share with you why I'm going to be saying Yes Style has the best selection for K Beauty, J Beauty, C Beauty. Just to give you a little hint of what's coming in this video, I bought this Dr. Alethea vitamin C serum. It is a base of sea buckthorn oil as well as 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. I bought a bubbling peptide essence. Oh, so excited to try that on. And I bought a J Beauty eyeshadow palette as well as some C Beauty products. Look at this packaging. It looks like Pat McGrath. We even have some 37 in today's video, some of the made for more mature skin types products. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And as always, we do have timestamps and links in the description box below in case you would like to jump around this video. And I do have a rewards code with YesStyle. If you would like to save extra money, you can combine that with whatever coupon code they are running. Anyway, let's get into this. It's an AM routine. First impressions, as always. If you have thoughts on any of the products in this video, feel free to share them in the comment section. But I want to start with this Sum 37 Skin Saver Essential Pure Cleansing Water. I'm excited about trying this brand, but a little nervous. This, this feels very different from the Chogongjin products. For those of you that enjoyed my uh, mature skin trial, look, look at the ingredients list on this. And this is the short one. <laughs> Just you wait till we get to the sunscreen. I had to go to size 10 font size 10 font to make that ingredients list. <laughs> there is a lot going on in these products. I don't know if they will work long term on my, you know, a little bit more of a sensitive skin type over here, but I am glad I got this because I was noticing it looks like I still have some eyeliner on <laughs> from last night. <laughs> it happens though. It can be kind of hard to get all of your eyeliner off. Oh, I am absolutely at a loss for how to describe the scent in this at a loss. Thankfully, it's light though. That was one of my concerns. You know, you never know from looking at the fragrance ingredients in a formula. You never know if it's going to be a lot in there or if we are talking tiny amounts. I would absolutely be cautious with this brand if you do have sensitive skin like I do. I mean, I'll update you all in time, but even I am nervous about just how much is going on there. I do love the millennial pink packaging though. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm a millennial. I love this color. <laughs> Y'all know how to market to me with that. I don't have much more to say again on this one. Hopefully I'll have more to say on products where it's a little easier to break down the ingredients, but let me know if you want an update. Thankfully our next product is exactly that. It is a much shorter ingredients list. I bought another product from APLB. This is the Collagen EGF Peptide Facial Toner. I have been so happy with the APLB products that I've tried so far. I noticed that they've been expanding their line and a lot of you have specifically told me about this line. We are going to do something different though. I bought the mask sheets from I think the face shop, right? Doesn't really say on here. This is a tiny, tiny little pack of I believe seven, yes, seven of these full sheet masks. It was really inexpensive. And I thought that this might be a really great option for any of you that are thinking you might want to try this DIY mask system, but you're not sure if you want to commit to it before you spend a lot of money on compressed sheet masks or a big box of these, you can get this tiny little one and see how it works out for you. This is basically an uncompressed compressed sheet mask. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pour this toner onto this. Quick disclaimer as I'm doing this. Don't do what I'm doing in this video. Don't try on a whole bunch of new products all at once. I wanna be a responsible skincare content creator. You know, I, I will say, I feel like I keep seeing people critique content creators and say, ah, oh, they just tell you you need this and you need this and you need this product. I feel that all of the content creators that I really love and watch and follow their content are all really good about not saying that, about being honest with products, you know, saying things like on a technicality, all you really need need is cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen. Some of us happen to be really into skincare. We love trying it. We love using a lot of products and that's okay too. Let's 
get this sheet mask on. This looks like it's gonna be kind of big. <laughs> yep, oh, yep, it's gonna be a bigger one. Well, you know, <laughs> it's always nice to find this because people have different sized faces. It's gonna look goofy on me, but I'm used to looking goofy on my channel. <laughs> Should I get some scissors and actually try to make this work for me? I had the nicest scissors over here from Joann's. They cut everything. But one day I made a terrible mistake and decided to try to cut wire with them. <sighs> but we have extra. We can do a neck mask. So now they don't cut as well anymore. And it's nobody's fault but mine. Why does this happen with a lot of my masks? Do I have too small of an area here? This is not a tutorial about how to cut up a sheet mask to fit your face better. So we're all on the same page. <laughs> I made it work though, and I got a neck mask out of it. Okay, I'll let this sit and I'll be right back. I'm back, it's been about 10 minutes, and I've noticed that this is staying on really well. So I do want to, I wanna feel this toner. I feel like it might be a little bit thicker. It still feels pretty watery. It might be the combination. This might actually be a really good uh, sheet mask. I don't think I can ever go back to buying at least a lot of sheet masks. I still buy them from time to time, but it, this is so much better. Let's try this Metapeel Peptide 9 Volume White Sika Pro All-in-One Essence next. It's got a long name and a long list of ingredients as well. So let's see if it bubbles as shown. Oh, 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 it's definitely bubbling. Oh, this is so wild. Oh, I think a little goes a long way with this. I might have, did I use too much? This product's gonna last me forever. <laughs> can you hear the bubbles? Can you, can you hear them? You probably can't. I feel like that was a journey. This application, especially for the first time, was a journey. <laughs> I truly feel like I applied a, a lightweight, maybe even a midweight moisturizer, but it didn't really look like it. That was so strange. By the way, long list of ingredients, won't be for everyone. It does have fragrance and dyes in it. And I also highlighted the ingredient that causes that bubbling effect, but it is very interesting. That, that, was, that was an interesting experience. And interesting is one of those words that can be either good or bad. I am definitely gonna have to update you all on this one. <laughs> I don't think I dislike it, but I think what I'm experiencing is, you know that feeling where something is so different from what you expected that you just don't know how to react? <laughs> Let's move on to this vitamin C boosting serum, and I'm gonna say the brand name correctly this time because I looked a little closer. <laughs> it says Dr. Althea, Althea. <laughs> I've never heard of this brand, but I noticed it was getting good reviews. It says it has 15% of sea buckthorn extract. I love sea buckthorn. Should make it kind of a yellow or orange. Mmm, it's clear. It is clear. Oh, well, this is a nice texture for a serum. I wish I'd applied this before the uh, essence, though. I think that would have been more appropriate for the thinner to thickest rule. All that said, it's not that ingredients don't penetrate anyway. I think people might worry a little bit too much about that. I have in the past too, you know, you, you buy things, you want them to work. But you know, given my experience with Adapalene, which to this day I do an Adapalene sandwich, I would say you still get to the effects even when you layer in a different kind of way, but it might be, you know, less intense in how it acts on your skin. A little bit of slower absorption, which actually can have its benefits. I did notice that the ingredients list on both the Dr. Althea website and Yes Styles is a little out of order from what's on my box. I don't know if that's because of uh, the US regulations versus Korea's regulations, but just a little bit of a different order. It does smell like oranges, which I'm not surprised because it does contain orange peel oil. Again, I know this won't be for everyone. This is the texture that I wish all vitamin C serums were though. It's kind of watery, but not so watery that it just drips through your hands. That's a great texture. We've got an eye cream next, and this is my so-called sponsored product. Some of you know about this, in case you don't. YesStyle has an influencer program where you can pick one free product every month. They call it the sponsored product. You're not paid, but you pick a freebie. And this month I chose the Blythe Pressed Eye Cream Caffeine 1.0. 
I have to tell you before I go further, this is now the second of these gifted products where the ingredients list that I have received is very different from what's listed on the YesStyle website. And most of you will be very happy with the changes. If you see the ingredients list that is on the YesStyle website right now, oh, you would probably steer far away from this product, but it actually does have really nice ingredients. Let's see how this texture is. Oh. Oh, I look so tired today. <laughs> I did read a review of this product on the Blythe website, which is what pushed me over to pick this as my product. That reviewer said they saw amazing results with this in terms of depuffing. Oh, this has a really nice texture. I thought it was gonna be just, you know, your standard kind of light to medium weight eye cream, but it's, it's sitting on my skin in a, a very moisturizing way. It's a little smaller than most K-Beauty eye creams, which is to say it's still bigger than Western eye creams. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice product. Lots of antioxidant ingredients, which will pair perfectly with my sunscreen. Speaking of product sizes, I read a post on, uh, I think it was the Sephora subreddit the other day, where somebody was saying that uh, are we still buying from Sephora? Are we buying from Ulta? Or have we all moved to buying K-Beauty? Because it really is true that your money does go further with K-Beauty products. I, I understand why it's happening. Actually, can I tell you all something? <laughs> I've had a few comments on this channel from people saying things like, Alice, you are hurting Western brands. I don't know if it's right to blame me. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that because if anything, I would say America is hurting American brands. Some of you have probably seen they're considering a ban on all chemical filters, that's organic filters. What are we doing? That would hurt Western brands far more than me sharing a haul of Asian beauty products. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm moving on to the APLB Collagen EGF Peptide Cream. This is a plastic jar, just so you all know. I always share these things because I am often surprised by the packaging. I'm not upset about it though because do you see the price? Oh, I'm trying to add prices back in. Just know that they change a lot. I am doing this with great hesitancy. They will probably be incorrect if you are watching this video just a week after it's uploaded. Ooh. Oh. And I was not planning on having a chatty try on today, but I guess I've already gone down that road. So I, I have more I wanna say on this to those commenters in particular. Again, I really don't think it's any content creators. I'm sorry, I feel like this is an issue that kind of transcends uh, the beauty industry. The reason people are looking for less expensive products is because number one, inflation, which depending on the product in question, it has been over 3% for at least some products. And you combine that with the cost of housing, wages have not kept up with the inflation. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why people are looking outside of their own country for products. Having this chat while applying this moisturizer is making me think about the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Moisturizer. How many of you remember when I used to talk all the time about that product? If I was to honestly compare this to the Elf Happy Hydration. Obviously, I don't have long-term thoughts on this, but just looking at the ingredients list and having applied this to my skin, I would choose this. And these are the kind of reasons why I think I'm not alone in turning to a lot of K-Beauty products. Sure, there are great moisturizers in the West, but this is a great moisturizer that is $10. And a lot of people, self-included, have tighter budgets now than we did in the past. So I don't know, I think it's a, a lot of factors together that are why Asian beauty is so popular. Anyway, let's move on to this sunscreen. This is the Sum 37 Sun Away Multi-Effect multi Sunblock SPF 50 plus PA, oh, it's only PA 3 plus. I guess that's because it is a hybrid sunscreen. This is zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and uh, what's the, whatever the third filter is. Also, wow, that is a very long ingredients list. <laughs> 
hope this goes well for me. It's got a little bit of a tint to it, which makes sense from the iron oxide ingredients. Oh, this too has a, 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 a scent that I can't describe. It just smells like a lot going on. Well, that is a really good color though. Okay. Oh, this is applying quite nicely. You know, I have been avoiding mineral sunscreens through these winter months. I absolutely have, but a good hybrid sunscreen. I, I can deal with it. I mean, it looks like it's blended into my skin pretty well. I'm just gonna tell you, because of that long, potentially irritating ingredients list for me, I'm going to most likely give this away and stick with my dermatology. This is $10 less. And the application, it actually reminded me a lot of that product. I don't know if that's something you could really see on camera, but it reminded me of that. Let's move on to a quick makeup segment today. So I did buy this little J Beauty palette. It is from the brand Millie Fee, Fee? And it is so cute, but it is so small. Like I said, I'll be honest with y'all. So here's some truth about Asian, in particular eyeshadow. I actually do think if you want a more pigmented look in particular, Western drugstore eyeshadows. I have been happy with some C Beauty palettes, but a lot of them are small. But let's try some J Beauty today. Oh, it is cute though. This is a really cute little palette. So I'm starting with the lightest matte. It's a little powdery, but not too powdery. The mid-toned peachy color next. Oh y'all, this is actually a really nice formula. I don't even think we're getting too much fallout either. Small but mighty little palette here. Okay, I think I'm gonna use, let's, let's do a quick swatch. I think I wanna use the silver on my inner corner and then the gold all over my lid, yeah? Pretty basic look, but I think that'll, I think that'll look nice. I am gonna use my finger on the gold shade though, just so I get Maximum payoff here. Well, that went extremely well. I am so happy with this and I love the cute little book packaging. Okay, this was amazing. I forgot I bought these, but I did buy these puffs. So I'm gonna real quickly add some of my Joa concealer and also my Unleashia concealer. This is new to me. And then I'll use the puff to put some powder on top of this. I'll just go ahead and use my Catkin powder today. I do really like this. Cute little tiny puff, isn't it? So cute. I've seen, I think it's Huda Beauty who has a product like this. It's not picking up a lot of product. I'm actually switching over to the Uma powder because it doesn't have that net. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Ooh, oh, this little puff is nice. Ooh, oh. Okay, I see why everyone's been using these. Didn't work with the netting powder. This is just loose. See, now that I'm setting my under eye area, I kind of want to just put a little bit of powder on the rest of my face. <laughs> because while I feel that sunscreen drying up, it's a little, it's a little slow, you know, a little slow. We are almost done with the whole AM routine today. I do want to try this blush. It's called the Tortoise Shell Blush from Juicy. I noticed a couple new C Beauty brands on the Yes Style website and you know I wanted to try them. Can't get over the Pat McGrath packaging. This is heavy. It's got a little mirror inside. It's still, it's still pretty small, but this feels luxe. This really feels luxe. I am so excited to try this. This is shade B02, by the way. I'm feeling like this might be a a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, okay. <laughs> this is not like the other Sea Beauty blushes I've tried in several ways it's turning out. <laughs> this is really exciting though, because I know that not everybody's as fair as I am and we have yet another blush that could easily be too much on me. <laughs> it was a little more expensive. I love that I'm saying that because a little more expensive in Sea Beauty means I think it was about $12. The last item for this video, I am once again ripping into a box. This is by the brand Go Go Tails and it's called the Marshmallow Soft Lip Oil. I did a real me and I bought a mostly clear lip oil. That's what I wear the most. It does have kind of this iridescent pink sparkle to it though. Oh, it's one of the uh, silicone tips. No smell, huh? 
I cannot get over that this doesn't have a smell to it. Almost every lip oil on the market has a smell to it. But this will be really nice for those of you that are looking for a fragrance-free lip product. It feels nice. I will have to report back on the longevity, but you know what? I can do that on the screen. <laughs> do you remember the olden days of YouTube where people would promise to update the description box, but then never would? We live in a different world of editing. Now we actually update in the video. But that's it for this haul. Final thoughts, I am actually blown away by the four makeup products in this video. They are all hits, all of them. As for the skincare products, I feel, I, once again, I feel like I'm most excited about the APLB products, which were the least expensive in the whole video. They're actually less on Style Vana, but I went with Yes Style because they showed 30 days shipping on Style Vana. But for those of you who are very patient, they are less on Style Vana. They just have such nice formulas and textures, great ingredients, and they're so affordable. And I feel the most iffy on our very long ingredients products. Go figure. But that's it for today's video. As always, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, especially since we went on a little tangent, a little chat, if you will. Let me know what you think of all of that. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video, and I will see you all next time.